Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my channel, and hey, what's up if you're new here? It's actually Friday the day I'm filming this, but I figured we could get things started. I'm on my daily walk with my family. We do a walk every day. Just an opportunity to get outside, get fresh air for all of us. And then my dog, Ash, he's able to get some exercise. Just let him run around, make silly faces, and silence up my daughter. And then my husband usually runs, usually gets the dog riled up and running around. Yeah, so just come with me. I'll show you the rest of my night and um, bring you into the weekend. Yeah, hoping to be productive this weekend. I feel like I say that in every video, but I'm really going to tackle some things. But come along this weekend. I'd love to have you join. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. It really does support me. Come here, buddy. Hey, good boy. Good boy. Ooh, look what just came. I do have a little Sephora order that was just delivered. Let's do a little unboxing, shall we? There's a couple, well, there's one item in here that's a repurchase, a couple products that I've been wanting to try. And then if you've been subscribed to my channel or if you watched any of my other videos, you may have possibly seen or heard that I am um, documenting a little skincare journey. So I've been in the process of finding products that work for my skin. And I did make a couple purchases to add into my routine. And these are purchases, these are items that I haven't tried before. So I'm gonna do a little unboxing in this video. Uh, stay tuned though if you wanna find out more about how the products work for me. Uh, specifically, the skincare will be in my next skincare update. Let me show you what we got. Okay, first off, I grabbed this moisturizer for my daytime to add to my morning routine. It's their lightweight moisturizer, uh, the Base Face Milk. I didn't buy the full size, um, and I wanted to try it out in a smaller form. And when I saw this, you might have saw my face. I was like, this is so tiny. But no, I did pay for only one ounce, one fluid ounce. Is that accurate? Correct. And it is a milk. It's a litter. I don't know if this is going to pick it up, but it's a super liquidy formula. And like, it's, you're just supposed to use like a drop. I don't think it this justifies. There are other reviews on this online. So if you want to know right now in detail what this is like you can go check those out but um i did some research i listened and watched listened to and watched reviews that this is really great for a morning routine and um it sits well works well under makeup and i am someone who wears makeup on a daily basis i say that as i'm not wearing makeup but it's just one of those days i'm excited to incorporate this uh, next, I've been needing a brush cleaner. I have, time and time again, I have just used like a Dove, a Dove bar of soap to wash my makeup brushes. And it's done a fine job for as long as I can remember. I just heard a lot about this, this makeup brush cleaner. Um, I've heard lots of good things and I just like the concept of it. So I think you just pour some in a bowl, you can dip the brush in, and then you just rub it on a, like on a towel, I think. And it's supposed to just clean it off. And then the, the like drying process is supposed to be a lot more efficient. So I'm excited to give this a try. Again with this, I just purchased the smallest option because I'm learning if I can sample something or get a smaller version, I should before committing to the full size because sometimes, how uh, things aren't going to work out. So I'm going to give this a go and then just see how it works for my brushes. And then I just hope that it doesn't cause any kind of reaction to my skin either. And I think that's why I've always stuck with the Dove, just a bar of soap, because it's just really gentle on the brushes as well as on my skin. So high hopes for this. I heard, I've heard really good things about it. These are a repurchase. I love the Shiseido facial cotton pads. I typically will get these or from Target, just like their premium little pads and I use this for my toner uh, at night and mainly for that but I am using that consistently and I just these are just so soft I really appreciate them it says they deliver moisture with a luxuriously gentle touch and I can I can agree with that for sure another product that I'm adding to my skincare lineup and this is going to be part of my nighttime routine 
Glow Recipes Blackberry Retinol Blemish Serum. I've shared, you can go watch my latest update, but I am trying to target my acne, any like scarring, and this is just, it's supposed to smooth texture, help minimize blemishes and unclog pores. Yeah, nothing like I've ever tried before. So I'm excited to give it a go and I'm probably gonna try it tonight. If it happens to work for me, if I'm loving it, you'll be seeing it in my next skin update. I'm going to start using this. Let's unbox it though. I want to see it in its true form. Looks just like the picture online. Ooh, the bottle is just so pretty. It just has a little pump. Okay, I'm excited. I can give that a go tonight, like I said. Last but not least, I was just happening to watch... Who was I watching? I don't remember. But they shared these ponytails. And I've already been into these. They're by Gimme. And I have found that these have been so gentle on my hair. They've lasted me a while and I do really like them. So I didn't necessarily need these. But after reading about these, I wanted to give them a go. These are the Slip Silk Scrunchies. And they're like thin. They're like a scrunchie style, but they're like skinny. And I appreciated the color options. I don't know if this was the best choice for me, but I think it was the closest. Otherwise, I could have gotten a much darker brown, so that might have worked, but really, I think this will be okay. And it says that the difference between them and a regular scrunchie is this. Traditional hair ties can tug on delicate hair, which can lead to damage and breakage. Slip scrunchies are made with slip silk designed to avoid hair creases. Okay, nice. So I put my hair up when I'm working out. I'm envisioning the, these though to wear more at night. I do have long, pretty long hair and when I'm sleeping I don't like to have it just going wild because it ends up getting knotted. Anyways, and I just read that these are very, I mean, very gentle on your hair, specifically for overnight when I would like to use them most. I saw some reviews, people complained about them stretching out really quickly and like not being able to hold up a lot of hair, but oh, they feel so nice and like I said, I'm really just hoping to use these at night but throughout the day too so let's just see how okay they are very stretchy yeah I like how that feels so there we go I'm gonna go around and actually wear this see how long it holds my hair up and can hopefully give you a little update on that how I like these and the rest of these products for that matter in an upcoming video Good morning, happy Saturday. It is quite dark in here. Ooh, went from super dark to super bright. It is Saturday, so I'm gonna do my weekly Target run, grab some groceries. When I get back, we are gonna complete some of our weekly to-dos or like chores, we'll call them. Uh, that includes like washing or bedding. It is hair wash day for me. I have laundry to finish up. I need to wash my makeup brushes. I'm going to paint my nails again. Again, I did them yesterday and I didn't realize how sheer this color is. I really like it. It's like a copper color, but it's super sheer. So I'm going to add another coat. I did paint my toes and fun fact about me, I only ever paint my toes white. I just, I feel like it looks the best all year round. <laughs> Most of the year you don't see my toes because in Minnesota here when it's cold in winter, you can't catch me with my bare toes. All right, I'm going to go to Target. That also means I'll probably get some Starbucks, uh, get back, be productive, and I'll take you along anything else we're up to today. I am wearing a super cute crew neck from an online boutique called Threads & Co. They sell the Minnesota collection, and I think these are pretty specific, maybe personalized to their shop. I don't know for sure, but I'll link it in if I can. They always have so many different cute colors. This one just says soda, where the lakes meet the pines, and I just love, 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 love this color. I like live in these all fall and winter long. It is technically fall, but it's still going to be like 80, 80 degrees today. I'm ready for like the 60s and to just stay around 60s. That would be ideal. <laughs> it's going to be a pretty typical, pretty typical weekend. So let's get on with it, shall we? I can't remember who I was listening to, but they said that Starbucks is out this year for their their fall drinks because they suck or something. I'm like, what? I, I don't agree. I know sometimes they can be hit or miss depending who makes it. Um, I looked at this 
and it does not look like it is going to taste like it normally does, but let's see. Okay. Okay, still not bad. I think it's more creamy than more creamy than it typically would be, but I can still taste the cold brew, which is important to me because if not, yeah. So I don't agree that Starbucks is out. I feel like a better reason to not go there would be the price because that costs me way too much, but it's a once a week thing. I'm going to enjoy it. All right, I'm going to get home, have something to eat, enjoy the rest of this. I'm going to get started on some chores. So let's do it. We are about to go on a little adventure, so I just grabbed all the things, diaper bags, stuff like that. I'm gonna grab one of these. Well, I already grabbed it. I'm gonna try one of these chopsticks. I haven't had them before, but I've heard they're great. I have my coffee. Well, still working on my coffee. I'm gonna bring in body armor. Um, just the necessities for our little adventure. We are back from our little adventure and the baby's napping so now's my time to i'm gonna take a shower i need to wash this hair and i'll probably get into some more comfy clothes and do the little chores i've been talking about doing i need to wash my makeup brushes and then hoping to paint my nails again and then we're gonna do some planning for the week ahead <gasps> okay my husband's outside mowing so you can probably hear that this may look funny but i had to share this with you I got this new like um, this new hair towel for on hair washing days. It has honestly changed the game, and it's like a microfiber. I think I'll, I'll scare, share a little screenshot. I think the brand is Twisties or something. I don't know for sure. It is so nice for hair wash days. So much better than a big heavy towel to dry your hair in because I'm someone who. I wash my hair once a week. After washing, I usually have it up in a towel for a little while and then I'll like let it air dry most of the time. Lately though, I've been letting it dry mostly in this towel and it's so much more gentle. Then I can apply all my products and then I've been blow drying it a little bit, like 70% of the way, not, I don't ever fully blow dry my hair. For one, it takes way too long. And for two, I just, I most of the time curl my hair, so I don't need it to be like straight and yada yada. So I love what this has done for my hair. Why don't I, I actually kind of wanted to reposition it. So why don't I just kind of show you how it works? I don't know if it comes in other colors, but when I got this in store at Target, I just saw a purple one. So it looks like this. There's a little band right here so you just flip your head over where the label is kind of line it up right along your hairline and I do have pretty long hair and it's pretty thick and this thing can hold it like it fits <clears throat> just fine kind of have to tuck it in here it's definitely, this is taking me longer because I'm taking time to talk about it. So get all the hair in there and then you just twist. You just twist it all up. And then you lift it back and you just tuck it in. You tuck it in the little band here, like that. I'm telling you, it really helps with the hair drying process and it's lightweight. I can walk around. I'm gonna actually go, I need to do some dishes right now. So I'm gonna let it sit on there and then I just, I don't have to worry about it like ripping out my hair because it's very gentle. So I'm trying out one of my apple pears, but look at this. Blech. I should learn to like open up the cartons and like inspect my produce, but I don't know. I just feel weird doing that in the store. So hopefully I can just slice this part off and salvage most of it. Good morning. Happy Sunday. I just started the washing machine or the dishwasher and I'm realizing it's kind of loud. So I apologize for that. It's Sunday and I've noticed 
I've decided, or we've decided as a family, we're gonna stay at home and watch church online instead of going in. It's just gonna be easier that way, I guess, but yeah, it's about 7.30. I've been up since 4.30 and I've done like my normal routine, my weekend routine though. I end up getting a little lazier, I think. I kind of stretch out my routine, whereas during the work week, get up right away, wash my face right away, I pump right away, get ready, and then all that. But on the weekends, you know, I get up, sip some coffee, and then I pump when I can, maybe wash my face. Like, I haven't even washed my face yet. So hopefully I'll do that soon and brush my teeth. And then today, probably gonna do all the tasks that I didn't do yesterday. I'm gonna check those off first thing. Just enjoy this Sunday, prep for the work week. I think we're gonna do our daily walk on the early side because it's gonna be in the 80s today. Like, it's almost October. Don't get me wrong, I do love the seasons. I love when it is hot and warm. I love summertime. I love all of our seasons for what they are. But I feel like at this time, you know, I'm itching. It's like, okay, it's fall. It's supposed to be chilly. I'm supposed to be able to wear my long sleeves and pants and not sweat, but it's all good. Time will come for it to be fall. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit in, well, the mostly peace and quiet with my little background sound, but. Um, looking forward to a productive yet restful day for family and grateful to have another day of life. Hey, so I shared in an unboxing the other day from Sephora this makeup brush cleaner that I got and I really wanted to, wanted to put it to use. I thought I could show you my like first impression with me. I was just trying to find the best like little bowl to use. I don't want to use like an actual dish like that we eat out of. I have a ton of these little plastic bowls and right now like I have these nail polishes in them but I do have a whole separate organization for my nail polish so then those can go in it. I can move those out. So let's see. I'll just read the directions again. It says you pour into cleansing tin to cover. Okay so you want to um, cover a quarter way up the bristles of your brush. Quickly dip the brush into the cleaning solution. Remove, gently wipe, clean with paper towel or cloth. Uh, repeat as necessary. Allow makeup brushes to dry completely before using. Okay, so it may stain. Don't oversaturate. Okay, so we're just gonna give this a go. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. completely sure if I did the best job demonstrating how that stuff worked but holy moly my makeup brushes are super clean now and they honestly for like the smaller brushes worked so quickly like I had to just dip it so I think I was trying to explain this earlier um with that brush cleaner it worked so well on like my small brushes like cleaned them in an instant some of my other big ones it, <laughs> um, it just took a little longer to get them clean and then one of my brushes it did like stain but it it does note that there's a caution about that if your brush is colored like a white I think or light color it is prone to stain I think it's something along Read that, read it yourself, but that's what it said. So I was kind of expecting that. So it ended up happening with one of the brushes, but <laughs> it's not the biggest deal to me. Um, yeah. And then my foundation brush, I had to do multiple, multiple treatments for it to get everything out, but it ended up working. The next thing to see will be if they dry well, the brush is dry, and then when I go to use them, hopefully I can use them tomorrow. 
and they'll be ready to go and that my skin isn't irritated at all by it because I've had that happen where I cleansed my brushes with a really nice cleaner and they ended up, my face ended up breaking out all over because I must not have rinsed it off well enough and my skin just was very sensitive. So a little nervous about that happening, but we will see tomorrow when I go to use the brushes. All right, we got laundry done. We have, we cleaned our makeup brushes. We did our morning walk. We decided to go earlier rather than later so that we could beat the heat. Cause I think, like I said, it's gonna be 80 degrees again. I'm gonna make myself a cup of decaf coffee. I bought these from Starbucks and so far they've worked for me. It's just on those days where I'm just craving the flavor. I don't need the caffeine, but I'm just like mm, a warm cup of coffee tastes good and it's like almost midday. So I already had my one cup this morning. I don't need more caffeine, but I'm craving the flavor. So I'm gonna have one of these. They just come in little packets and you add it to like eight ounces of water. So I'm gonna make this, sit down and just do some more planning. I love our coffee maker so as you can see I just used it to I used it just for the hot water aspect I was able to put that packet in and then I hit the eight ounce cafe forte button and it poured eight ounces of hot water and I'm gonna get stirred up and add a little cream okay scratch the decaf coffee <laughs> I feel like that was such a waste. Like it sounded good and I've had it before and really liked it, but I took a few sips and now I just feel like gross, but I think it's because I'm hungry. We're gonna eat lunch here really soon. It's Sunday, so we get Chipotle. I think that's what it is. I think that I need to eat something. And even though it's decaf, I don't know. I just, I think I just need some food in my system. So not gonna drink the coffee. I've been talking about this book so often. I still haven't finished it and not like I'm ashamed or anything. Um, it's been taking me a while, but I just haven't been prioritizing reading it. I still love it. And I feel like I, it's like not one of those books where I'm just like, oh, I just want to re just read a little bit every day, which I should just do. I like don't want to pick it up unless I have a ton of time to dedicate to it because it's just packed with so much good stuff. And I, I feel like I need to, like I said, have time to like sit and take notes and like really ponder and reflect on things. But I want to just make a better habit of reading a little bit every day and I can reference it all the time if I need to and I can read it again as well. I'm going to read this for a little bit until it's lunchtime. Hey, realizing now I never, I never did close out the video yesterday. I just ended up finishing up some Sunday tasks. I, uh, I think I talked about... I washed my makeup brushes, put away the rest of my laundry. I did not get to painting. I was gonna put another coat of polish on these toenail, on these fingernails. I didn't get to doing that, but that's okay. Not a, wasn't a huge priority. Why don't I show you my outfit? I am wearing this long jumpsuit. It's like a, it's a brown color and this cropped button up from old or from Target by the Universal Thread brand. This was from last season. They had so many cute colors. I just love the crop fit. I like it more, I think, than I would like a full on length of this. But yeah, this is the outfit today. I've said already, I think I'm excited for the fall weather. It's still like mid 80s today and I'm ready for like 60s. I'll enjoy the warm days while I can. So this is where I'll end today's video. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. It really does support me. Uh, go ahead and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, guys. I'll see you in my next one.